Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. And I'm just going to do a quick lather review. This will probably be my last video now until Wednesday. I actually fly out to Bali tomorrow morning with my wife. No kids for three nights uh, in a beautiful resort in the middle of the jungle in Bali. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. I've been uh, needing a bit of a rest. I think I'm exhausted at the moment. So I'm just going to do a lather review on Elvado Royal Tahitian Lime Shaving Cream. Now this stuff smells, it's made with essential oils, avocado and shea butter. Now, it just smells like a real lime. You just sliced open, you're about to squirt it into a drink. It, it just smells absolutely beautiful. So I'm just gonna add a bit of water in my bowl, in my sink, sorry. Don't know what that is, a couple of little spots on it. So I'm just gonna scoop some out my finger. I'm just going to delve in here a little bit just to soften the top layer as you can see. And then scoop a good bit out. And then all I do with my Saponificio Varacino bowl is I just run my finger round the outside like that. And that should be more than enough. I don't think I'm going to need any more water than that to do this ladder. I have watched this one on YouTube before. I've just dipped the tips of the brush in there, give it a bit of a flick off. I'm using my Magard 26mm uh, synthetic, which makes, it's just a ladder monster. It's the only way I can describe this brush. It makes incredible. Oh, Jesus. The smell out of that tub, I would say is probably, I'm just gonna dip the smell again maybe like a three sort of scent, three or four, it's not a strong scent at all. Once you lather it, oh, it jumps up to practically, I would say almost a seven, six or a seven scent. Oh, that smells absolutely beautiful. Those of you that follow my channel and watch quite a lot of it, you'll know that I'm into, I love citrus scents, absolutely love them. Citrus and menthol, I really don't think you can go wrong. I think it's probably more so the climate of where I live over in Western Australia is so hot in the summer. It hasn't been lately, we've just had our coldest day in February on record. And the most amount of rainfall, second most amount of rainfall in one day since record started as well in the history of Western Australia. So that's quite an impressive feat to say that we're not even in the winter, we're in the summer. We're supposed to be experiencing 40 degree days at the moment and we're not. So in some sort of regards it's nice. It's uh, certainly great for the grass because it's uh, a nightmare getting stuff to grow over here. For those of you that live in hot countries will know exactly what I mean. Most so here in Western Australia where the, the soil over here is generally either sand, red sand or limestone. So it's an absolute nightmare to grow anything on it. Well, I can tell you right now this is making a beautiful ladder. Now because this brush is so big it actually sort of it almost absorbs all the lather into the brush itself. But I tell you right now, it does release it very well. I might actually just do a quick face lather with it, just so you can see it. Not a face lather, but actually transfer it onto my face so you can see how this stuff goes. But that's, as you can see, it's making a beautiful thick creamy lather. Can it take any more water? Why not? Let's just put another little bit in there. Just a quick dip and just see what happens to it. really helped it on there, definitely. Right, I've had a shave this morning. I'm just gonna wet my face and just lather up and let you see what this stuff lathers like. Absolutely beautiful. Now I've got this Elvado. That tub will last me. God. My sons will be using that in 10-15 years time. That's how long that's going to last. 
if the scent lasts that long, which it probably won't, but it might. Now I've got this one in the lime. I've got Lime Soda by Soap Smooth, I think it is. And I've also got Castle Forbes, which smells phenomenal. And there we have it, look at that lather. That is just beautiful. In the brush. Slick, this is tremendous. The lather's thick, it's glossy. It smells great. That's a really beautiful ladder, it really is. i tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back in a minute. I'm back. Now what I'm going to do, at six minutes so far into this video, I'm just going to make it a little bit longer. I'm actually going to lather this as well. Castle Forbes Lime Essential Oil for skin prone to nicks and cuts shaving cream. Beautiful. Now I know this stuff smells incredible, it smells much stronger out the tub than the uh, Royal Tahitian Lime by Alvaro. So let's just see how it lathers and we can sort of compare both scent wise at the same time. Straight off the bat, this smells more limey, smells even more natural than what the Elvado does. Uh, in terms of texture, it feels slightly softer, more creamy, if I'm honest, than what the Elvado does. So I'm just going to get a nice little helping of that. Same again, in the bowl, and I'm just going to run my finger right round the bowl. Just dip my brush in the water. And same with Paul H, I'll just let you hear this as well. With the tub, it comes with this little tub on top of the Castle Forbes the lid. You can actually listen. It pushes all the air out, which is excellent for retaining the scent and keeping moisture out and out of the actual soap itself, so the cream. So here we go, I've got it rubbed in my bowl and I'm just going to same again, just going to go straight into the bowl and let's just see what sort of lather we come up and once again I've seen this one on YouTube I think I might have too much water in my brush here so this will be interesting oh, definitely Castle Forbes on the scent so far, definitely I think I've put too much water in my brush forgot to shake, I'm not shaking it out quite enough and as you can see I'm getting loads of sort of airy suds so let's see with just a little bit, if we can work this enough to bring it back to a beautiful, thick, creamy lather. I can tell you right now, it's, it's already doing that. I don't know if you can hear the difference in the noise. That's absolutely beautiful. I've also got the Castle Forbes uh, Essential Lime Aftershave Balm as well. Oh yeah, these, these both these creams make a beautiful lather. I thought I'd put far too much water in here, but this cream has really outdone itself by managing to coat with the water and also make a massive amount of lather. Almost swore there, don't know why I almost swore. Must be the excitement. Oh yeah. If anything, I would say this lather looks nicer than the Alvaro. And I've obviously I put a similar amount of soap in there. And look at the difference in the amount of lather. I know I started off with more water in this. That's not even all the lather, can I say? Get it off, look at that. But scent wise, they're both obviously both lime, and they're all limes, different. Um, it's not a brand of lime, different breeds of lime, I'm trying to think of the word now. We'll have different scents, 
So obviously Royal Tahitian lime could, could be a completely different smelling sort of lime, essential oil anyway, as opposed to what they've used in Castle Forbes, which I would say is definitely what's happened here. This one to me, the, the Castle Forbes smells more like a, um, it's more zingy. Definitely get more pepped at and the actual lather itself, in my opinion, is nicer. So let's squeeze that out there. As you can see, that's just that's not see if I can get all the lather out of the bowl then. So that's pretty much all the lather that I've got out of that tiny little bit of shaving cream. And that's that silky smooth. I don't know, hopefully you can see the gloss on it. Not sure. Slickness is... Oh, and that scent. Beautiful. I'm not going to face lather again because I don't want to irritate my skin before I fly out to Bali and go on the plane with bright red skin. But I don't really have to with that. It's I can tell already that that silk, the Castle Forbes, is absolutely beautiful. In terms of both creams, they both lathered well. They both smell great in their own sort of way. They're both reasonable sort of strength. I'd say the Castle Forbes is slightly stronger out the tub, and they're probably about the same once lathered. So the, the Royal Tahitian line really explodes when you actually put the, put the water into it, and it gives much more scent out of the, out of the cream than it does straight out of the tub. It's quite a mild scent out of the tub. Both lathered great. You get, from what I can see so far, I know there's a bit more water. The Castle Ford makes a larger amount of lather of the same consistency of what the Elvado did. Um, obviously a bit more water, but it still made that same thick, creamy consistency. So it's, uh, yeah, beautiful soaps. Absolutely uh, beautiful creams, sorry, not soaps. So there we go, that's the uh, Elvado Royal Tahitian Lime up against the Castle Forbes Lime Essential Oil. Both beautiful creams, cannot wait to shave for them. Hopefully I'll get a bit better weather when I come back from Bali. And I can get a, maybe just get a shave done on Wednesday with them. Other than that guys, I'll leave you to it. Thanks very much for joining. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button, which I now believe is down this side, I think. I hope. <laughs> click the subscribe button uh, if you're returning to, 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 to view again. Thanks very much for coming back. And if you've got any questions or comments, just pop them down below. Uh, I do try and reply as quick as I can. And other than that, you guys take care. I'll speak to you later. Thank you.